This is the Untitled Car Show, with your host for the evening, Ike. Nice. It's your day! It's what you have practiced for! <laughs> and Proc. Hey, hey, buddy, roll your window down so I can ask you about your dead friend. We hope you thoroughly enjoy the show. Thanks for listening. Hello. Hello. Ah, it's, it's good to be back. It's good. It's good to be back. Yes, we Ike, had. Uh, you had a baby. I did. It was wonderful. <laughs> it came out of you. It did. It came out of my bow hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So this is our first episode back in uh, quite some time since uh, the last little solo episode by myself. Yeah, that was very nice informing the people, of mm-hmm. thanking them for a great year. Yeah, it was. I think we're officially over a year now. I think so, too. Yes. yes. we. I think it's official. We'll have... Someone check the notes. Producer, get on that. Yes. The producer's eating right now. So yes, yes, yes. She doesn't care. Get on the notes. <laughs> yes. So yeah. it's been roughly eight weeks since we've been here and talking on the podcast. So, Brock, what have you been up to in such time? As it, Oh. Uh, Anything well. car related. I can tell you I put in a child seat into a vehicle. Uh, there you go. That's uh, interesting. It Did is, it turn out okay? Yes. So the thing I learned about child seats, first of all, when you have a station wagon sort of deal, is you think, oh, this is a nice big-ass car. There's no way in hell this thing is going to be an impediment to everything and everything you try and put into this vehicle. Turns out I was wrong. Yeah, it probably sucks getting groceries now. Well, there's still the big bag. The problem is when I first put it in, my poor wife... So when you have a kid, as some of the viewers may know, or may not know out there, <laughs> um, it tends to damage the wife as it comes out. So she she walks funny for a while. Not like sex walks funny, but like worse. So <laughs> getting in and out of the car is not pleasant, especially when you have a low station wagon like I do. So basically try to imagine getting into your uh, Corvette with like a ripped open crotch. That sounds horrible. Yeah. So the problem is, is when you put the child seat behind the passenger seat, uh, it seat has to be up two vertical. So she was like bitching and moaning the entire time about God how painful damn it was. It. Yeah. And I couldn't put it behind me because I am six foot two and it wouldn't fit. Or I wouldn't fit. Wanted Can you put it in the middle? That's what we ended up having to do. I'm not sure oh, if you're okay. supposed to. I'm pretty sure from what I've been reading, that's okay. Maybe. Is it supposed to face backwards? or yes. front? Oh, okay. Yeah. You got the backwards facing seat in okay. the beginning. And then when they get bigger, you flip them around to the front. But then, then I have the integrated booster seats because it's a Volvo. Oh, God. <laughs> Always thinking ahead, aren't they? Yes. Yes. I don't know how safe those things are, though, because, uh, A, the car was built in 2005, and, B, it's like half of the seat folds up onto itself. So right. how safe could it really be? I don't know. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's been it's been fun. We've had a lot of snow here in D.C. recently. Oh, yeah, it sucked terribly. Yeah, and we seem to always, when we record, we are either about to go into some sort of inclement weather or yes. we are just getting out of some inclement weather. We're how, in it right now. Yeah, how was your drive home today? It was, I mean, it was fine. It was just wet, but yeah. it was horrendous being behind all the morons. Yeah, I took the interstate. Like, it took me, like, 15 minutes to, like, figure out what beer to bring today. But, like, well, the interstate was remarkably clear. I may have spent a lot of time in the HOV lane that I wasn't supposed to. But other than yeah. that, it was fine. It was fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think the HOV lane is a fucking waste. So, <laughs> I was thinking about this while I was driving to the HOV lane. So, you can have, like, a DWI checkpoint, right? Because that has to do with, like, the safety and security of... The interstate, right? You have a speeding checkpoint because it has to do with the safety, and, you know, security of the interstate. Exactly. Can you legally? I mean, they have been. I'm. I'm just curious as to what precedent they're using to pull people over for violating what is basically a non-moving violation. Is it the same as like a truck route? Maybe. What's like the fine for an HOV in Maryland? Yeah, it's a lot. Like. 200 bucks be i think the minimum is like 250 and i think it goes all the way up like because they try and freak you out because they only ever post like maximum fine like ten thousand dollars right but i think the minimum fine for hov light is 250 bucks jeez 
It is ridiculous. It's atrocious. Yes. So, and there are parts of Maryland and uh, Virginia that all you can do is drive on the HOV. Right. You have to pay. Yeah. Yeah. Or you have to pay the fucking express lane thing, and then that's a pain in the ass. Because yeah. it's like, oh, it's congestion charging. So when it's really fucking busy and you want to use it, we can charge up to like fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah. I think the highest it's been so far is like twenty dollars and eighty six cents to drive five miles. If it was congested yeah. that much? Yep. I I ninety five in Virginia. That's I think the robbery. highest charge so far was like twenty dollars eighty six cents. Yeah. It is robbery. Like, and they go, Well here here here's what I don't get. Oh, we're building all these new roads. It's going to help congestion, this, that, and the other. But you're but charging con- me. Yes, so no one's going to use it. Exactly. And the people who do use it aren't probably commuting. They're probably just like... Shooting through on 95. Yeah. So you're helping no one. Yes. Uh, it, I don't get that about like tolls and stuff like that, too. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, well, we want to build this new bridge, so mm-hmm. we're going to put a toll up yeah. to pay for the bridge. And then, oh, you know, well, the bridge is built. Nah, yeah. and we'll just keep the tolls up. Yep. Fuck you. Well, in Illinois, they had the tollway. And what the original intention was is we'll put up the tolls, we'll charge everyone, and then as soon as the tolls are paid or the roads are paid off, we'll just tear everything down. Exactly. Yeah, it never happened. Now they just built like, oh, well, we're going to use the toll money to pay for this open road tolling, so you never have to stop to get charged. Well, that's not what we Fuck. signed up for. Yes. Now, on the flip side of that, I will take a toll road every day, like a set fee. Like it's 40 cents, I think, at each one of those expressway things in Illinois. Right. So you might spend five or 10 bucks on your way to work. That's bad, but that's not awful. And especially if you're, if you're driving from all the way out in like the boonies to downtown Chicago, it might be 10 bucks. Right. But I'll take that every day over this bullshit HOV thing. I don't understand the HOV. I don't, I, I get the premise. So like we're going to get out of carpool and like have more people yeah. in the car and this or that. Well, it's like, what? It also makes it unsafe. Like, okay, now let me look for like on the carpool ads on Craigslist to yeah. find some asshole to drive with me. Yeah. To wherever I'm going just so I can drive the HOV lane. That makes no sense. How many people have been murdered because of HOV lanes? It's probably, it's great. It, it probably, there probably is a statistic for yes. it. It's like, it's not something that we would know, but there, it's greater than one. We we can all yes. agree on that. Yes, and that's too many lives. Yes, I am petitioning now to save lives, remove HOV lanes. Someone has been murdered because they picked someone up yes. on a or someone's uh, what been. Is it, a carpooling yeah. uh, thing on Craigslist. Well, in Virginia, they call them like slugs or something like that. Like they literally have a spot on the one side of the expressway on both ends. Right. Where people just hang out and wait for people to pick them up so they can take the bit of expressway or tollway or whatever, not tollway, the bit of the freeway, quote unquote, freeway. This is in Virginia? Yeah, this is Virginia on uh, 66. You know, 66 is oh, HOV only, three plus. 66 is the worst yes. fucking road in America from what I hear. Yeah. And, and the times I've been on there, it's been terrible. Yes. It makes no sense. And then they have all these weird rules. So for those of you who aren't local... If you're driving Route 60, or if you're driving Interstate 66. In Virginia. In Virginia, and you're heading... Not the 66 that... Yeah, the it, good one, which yeah. is actually Interstate 55 now, which is weird. But if you're headed towards the airport, you're allowed to have no one in the car with you. But okay. it's HOV only if you're not doing that. So explain to me how... Like, you know. Exactly. And the cops always set up their little... Uh, thing is dripping it's got erectile dysfunction explain to me how the cops know if you're going to be going to the airport or not right it doesn't make any sense i I don't i hate each of lanes <laughs> i just do well okay so to give you an example like out there in the snow and rain tonight and like the bad weather the yeah. hov lane is totally unused so when you do get someone blowing by you in the HOV lane, it causes a great amount of spray because you got these giant puddles built up on the road. Right. So it's more dangerous having people in the HOV lane. You pull someone over in the one lane HOV lane, which is supposed to be the fast lane, and you get all this bullshit. <laughs> you get a giant backup, 
And if he pulls the guy out of the HOV lane and brings him all the way over, you're disrupting four lanes of traffic. If you pull well, yeah, him over and the cop keep has him to in the HOV lane, then it defeats the, the purpose uh, of the HOV lane. Yeah, the part, yeah. Yes. The producer is doing stuff to my foot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't I just don't get it. I didn't see any HOV lanes in Jersey when I was up in Jersey. They have them. They, or they used to have them, and then they took them away, probably for reasons that we're talking about. Yeah. Again, a toll does a better job of getting people off the road. Right. Because if you can't afford 40 cents a mile, you'll carpool. Yes. <laughs> it's what it is. It, it's <laughs> You shouldn't be charging 20 bucks to go five miles. Like No. Everyone in the world can agree on that. Like It, it makes no sense. You have people who are going to their jobs, and they are stuck with this Sophie's <laughs> choice of, do I get to work on time and make the amount of money I need to make, which is probably less than $20 an hour, or do I sit in traffic and For not get to work? five minutes and pay $20, or not, and, yeah, and lose, not paid. Yeah. yeah, and lose the money. It doesn't make any sense. And then when it's worth it, it's not worth it. Pretty much. <laughs> I think, we'll, let's take a quick break so we can fix your uh, technical what is, difficulty. What is and, going uh, on? It doesn't, we'll be right do we back. need Viagra we'll right for back. this thing? We'll be right back. What is going on? That was a game on the uh, Sega Genesis. Are we back online? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll what just... were we talking? Oh, yeah. Uh, HOV lanes, they suck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They suck. So, speaking of toll roads and all that. So, I had to drive to Illinois. Right. Basically, I had to go there, turn around, and come back. So, not in a pleasant mood. Yeah, it was not fun. But it was for a possible job opportunity bullshit thing. So... Oh, no, that would mean we can't do the podcast anymore. Yeah, we'll find a way. Love always finds a way. True. Yeah. Wait, what? Do yeah. I, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I'm on the interstate, and I pull into, like, the first rest stop to, like, get food, as one does. Yeah. So I'm in Ohio, because that's how far I fucking drove before I stopped at the interstate on the tollway, and I get off, and I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting in line to get a fucking, like, breakfast sandwich from... I think it was a Roy Rogers of all things. That, dude, I that's the only place I ever see Roy Rogers. Yes, is on the interstate. Yeah, and like uh yeah. There's I, a, I don't you don't see the, like the actual restaurants anymore. No. I don't and think. they're extremely overpriced on the highways. Yeah. Well, everything's overpriced it's on like the highways. Fucking $7 for like a small fry. Like <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, pretty much. Speaking of which, I'll get back to this. Jersey has the weirdest fucking setup for those tollway things. Why were you going to Jersey to get to Chicago? No, 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 no. I'm just saying on another trip, I went through Jersey, and they have like that weird setup where you pay at one cashier, but like all the food is in the same place. Oh, yeah. What yeah, the and fuck? like the burger slides down. Yeah. Slides down, food slides down, you got to just grab it and go. Okay, so I got and that. And the food sucks. I got that was the idea. Every time I've gone to one, which has been it's like, like three times It's like a buffet, but then you get like... It's like a raped high school cafeteria. Once, raped once you get to the uh, yeah. But every time minority I've gone, <laughs> person that's working at the cash register. Every time I've gone, none of the food's ever been prepped. It's always been out. And they go, well, we don't prepare the food uh, during like slow times. What does that mean? Yeah, okay. So you can only pick what's there? No, they'll make it fresh, which defeats the entire fucking point of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, not fast. No, it's not fat. It took them like 10 minutes to make fucking french fries because they went like, oh, you want french fries? We put them in the fryer. If you would have told me you're putting them in the fryer, I would not have ordered these things. Well, how long, is the, how long does the fryer take to make I went over to McDonald's. It was seven minutes, 10 seconds. Oh, so that's a lot. That's not fast. No, it's not fast. And you're supposed to be in and out in the McDonald's in 90 seconds according to the McDonald's handbook. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's time, bullshit. Time to lean. It's time to clean. Yeah, okay. Flashbacks. Anywho, so I'm at the Roy Rogers, right? And when I drive, I always keep my little headphones in the car with me. So when I get it out, I can continue listening to podcasts I'm listening to or whatever the fuck I'm listening to while I'm inside. And not be distracted by the morons. Exactly. So it's me and like maybe four other people because it's like Lake Effect snow is happening and like everything's icing over. Right. So I'm sitting waiting at the Roy Rogers and a little short guy comes up to me and goes, are you, are you waiting? Like, Yeah. Oh, okay, this is the line? Yeah, this is the line. Oh, okay, and I have to pull my headphone out each time to talk to him. Put it back in. 
So I'm sitting there, I order my food, he orders his food, and I'm waiting back by the soda machine for the fucking food to come out. Right. He comes over, and I don't realize he's just started talking to me for probably a good, like, 30 or 40 seconds. I'm just like, I'm like, excuse me, what? Pull my headphone out again and go, excuse me, what? He goes, oh, do you know if it's supposed to snow here? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not from around here. Headphone back in. Where were you at? I was in Ohio. I'm at a rest stop. It's like, I'm not trying to be rude. But But stop fucking talking to me. I have a headphone in. Every time you've said anything to me, I've gone, huh? Pulled out my headphone and gone, what are you on about? Okay. Put the headphone back in. And I... I don't want to talk to people, especially when I have to be up for basically 24 hours to do one bullshit little thing yeah, little 600 small miles talk, away. Small talk has nothing like, yes. go away. Yeah, I'm, hey, fine, you know, bye, bye, bye. And he just keeps jaw jacking at me. And then, again, like probably another two minutes goes by and the food, I can see the food's about to get ready. And I hear him say over my headphones, well, you don't have to be rude about it. I'm like, that's what he said to you? Yes. I'm like, I'm not. I'm like I'm just in stunned silence like I'm hey I'm not being the rude fucker here like you're being rude for fucking talking to someone that doesn't want to talk to you yes for all you know I'm on the you're phone with my wife like uh, who who is yes yes having like, complications exactly or like heaven forbid something worse but I have a headphone in I'm obviously not yes. interested in talking to you I get it's me the cashier lady and no one else in this fucking place talk to her yes go talk to her she's being paid right now <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but she ran to the back because she's smart. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, a like, uh, this, did you order? Like, no, I'm just standing here for my health. Like, no, I. It is me, you, no one else in here. It's six o'clock in the morning in the middle of Bumblefuck nowhere, Ohio, off of the interstate. Ah, you don't have to be rude about it. Yes, it's like, do you know if it's snowing? I'm not from around here. Headphone back in. All right. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, Leave why? me alone. Oh, my God. You know what? That's a good point, though. Rest areas do, like, breed the weirdest fucking people. Yes. It's like, I, where? There's always, <laughs> there's always, like, some guy oh, no. with his family. It's, I discovered it's, the, no, it's the same guy everywhere. Yes. It is a guy who is about five foot five, right? He is wearing either clothes way too nice to be driving long distance in or clothes way too ratty to be seen in public. In. Right. And almost always like a very long coat. Slightly to moderately overweight. It's never like a fucking obese guy. That guy is always at... I think they have to build the rest stop and then put that guy there. Yeah. That he guy actually is getting there. paid yes, to, to just be there. wander around and be the weird guy at the rest stop. Yeah. Because every fucking time i stopped and he's there by himself yes never with anyone else no like i drove a lot across the country all by myself i never chatted with anyone ever because you know why i'm never gonna see you again and i don't care about your life i get that okay i get midwestern folk they tend to be nice i am not a nice person (laughs) when i am driving i don't care what the fuck like you, you could be the Pope. I am not going to talk to you sitting at a rest stop. I want to get what I came here for because this is taking time off. Yeah, for I want to get the my road. fucking Cheetos and get on the road or fucking trail mix and peace out. Yeah. Have you ever met a best friend at a rest stop? No. No one has. <laughs> exactly. Ever. There's always that guy. Yes. There's always like a fucking Indian family of 10. Yeah. And they're going God knows where. <laughs> That might be a jersey. <laughs> we don't get a lie in the folk out in the middle. Uh, yeah, it is. A, <laughs> it might be, yeah. Uh, you know. No, but, and here's the other thing, too, is every state that has it has, like, this slightly different layout of the, like, rest stop. But it's all the same. Yeah, they're all basically the same. Yeah. It's crazy to me. Again, it's always. They're never in good condition, ever. No. Like, the nicest ones on my little It doesn't trip, matter where you're going yeah. to. There's always a, uh, like. Like two old people that are probably going to Florida. Yes. It doesn't matter. You can be going north on 95 and yep. there'll be two old people going to Florida. Yeah, yep. They're going all. north. Yep. One of them is wearing a baseball cap that says Florida. <laughs> Just how it yes. is. Yeah. Well, and there's always some asshole in the uh, fucking gift shop there. Like whatever state you're in, the I love New York, I love whatever, I love Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Like around here, it's like, 
you could be in Baltimore and be like, I love DC. DC. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Oh, uh, it's worse than that. If there's a point, so I think it's I seventy meets the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And that's like where everyone who lives in Maryland gets on the turnpike. Right. So it's like far out west, and you pop on the turnpike. And that's... Oh, on 81? I think so. I don't remember. Yeah, I've yeah, only yeah, driven it about yeah, many yeah. times. But it's going out west. You hop on a turnpike. It's got like that weird little like U-turn to get up onto the turnpike if yeah. you've ever been on it. Yeah. That rest area, which is approximately 150 miles from D.C., has a iHeart DC. Right. It is closer in proximity to... Pittsburgh than it is to DC. Right. And it's, I love DC. It's like, and then when you get into Pennsylvania, it's like, I love Philadelphia, no yeah. matter where you are. Uh-huh. And it's like, we are in like the furthest possible point. Hell, you hit, you hit the Indiana border. It's, I love Chicago. It's like, none of this makes any sense. Why are you, bu- yeah, like, why, yeah. why do they have, well, you know what? There are, there probably are some assholes that buy that. Like oh you know I didn't I didn't get the get the T shirt I wanted I really wanted that I love Chicago shirt and you know what it might be my last chance. <laughs> Have you ever felt forlorn about never having a like I Heart jersey shirt? I've never owned one. Yeah, neither have I. I've never well, never owned a I Heart jersey or I Heart Illinois or any of those things. Because I can't say I love any of those cities. Yeah, great enough to fucking advertise it to the world. Well, who who wears those shirts anymore? They're actually it's like an eighties or nineties thing. Like yeah. I think they used to have like I love the I love New York thing. They used to have that all the time. I wonder if it's like a function of like people have cell phones now and are taking pictures all the goddamn time. Where in the past, like the joke was, my you know father went to France and all I got was this lousy T shirt for some of that bullshit. Right. Like you needed a piece of evidence that you went to a place in the past. And yeah. now your piece of evidence is I have a million fucking pictures. Why don't you check out my Instagram? Blah, 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 blah. So why yes. are those shirts and shit still being sold? Is it old people? I, maybe. When's the last time you've ever seen those shirts? The only times I see them are at the rest areas. Have you ever seen a real person actually wearing one of those shirts? Um, In D.C. I have. That's a good point. DC's and standard. it's like... It's always like a kid. Yeah, that's a good point. Or it's like some like random Asian tourist who has no idea where the hell he is. Like, I don't know what this fucking says, but it's American. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I love DC. Uh, that's like a heart Los Angeles. I got DC. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where the monument? <laughs> <laughs> I park here. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Um, yes. Yeah, that's very. That's very inappropriate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but it's... It, but it's good. We need people like that to buy the T-shirts. That is true. But here's the thing, too. Like, So we work in D.C. We see a ton of tourists every day coming and going from work. It's only maybe 1% of them we ever see with that shit on. And that can't support a fucking industry. I mean... Who is buying, is someone buying these shirts and just like hiding them away for like a future apocalypse or some bullshit? I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> why do you need proof that you've been anywhere? Like, yeah. why, other than like the stories you have? Yeah. Oh, know. yeah, man. Yeah. You know, like, what? It, yeah. Oh, Ike, why don't you uh, co- come in here? I'll show you my dresser. I have a, I love uh, fucking LA. I've been to LA. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Well, now that you have a shirt, now I believe you. <laughs> I didn't believe you before. Hell, why would you not believe people, you know? But that, yeah, that's the point. It is, it's fascinating. So every truck stop I've ever been to has that store. They have the gas station that never has windshield wiper fluid. Right. Ever. Like, and they always have like a little like nondescript building that's usually like an adult-only store. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen that at the truck stops I or truck stops, yes. So like a dedicated yeah, yeah. truck stop. I thought that's what you're talking truck stops. No, I, I mean like rest areas. That's what I was talking about. No, no, all the truck stops I've ever been to, they have beads, and behind that beads is porn, and not yeah. the classy porn like normal people view. Terrible, terrible porn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's always some guy looking at it, touching his belly button. Yeah. 
Well, touching his belly button is pretty nice to it. He is going in deep into the belly button, and he is pulling out some shit that you want to see. Yeah. So when I drove across the country from here to San Francisco and back. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? Why not? Yeah, fucking fuck you live yeah. once. Have you, been, have you been in Iowa in the middle of nowhere and you can see the curvature of the earth and corn? No. Yeah, I have. I That's a thing I can say. About. Actually, I don't believe you because you don't have a fucking God t-shirt. Damn it, that's true. <laughs> I should have gotten the goddamn t-shirt. But every, so you hit the Mississippi River and until you get to Vegas, which is where we stop, until you get to Vegas, there is a truck stop and they're all the same between here and there. They have a Waffle House slash random pancake house that has the same old woman who still smokes. Like, hey, sweetheart. That's the lady. She's got a beehive. She smokes. And she's calling you either sweetheart honey or honey. Or, yeah. yeah. Like, what do you want, hon? Like, uh, how are the pancakes? They're good. Cool. I'll take the waffles. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, can't go Yeah, give me the man gangs, bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> but then there's the like huge ass convenience store right. that is bigger than any Seven Eleven you've ever been in, and it's got everything. You, it's like a it's like a Walmart. Yes, crunch into the size of a bedroom. Exactly, and then it has it's got every phone charger. It's got neon lights. It's mm-hmm. got like. You ever seen the ones with like collectibles, like Harley Davidson collectibles? Oh, they all have that. Like, what the fuck? Why do you? Why are there little model like motorcycles? Why did you make it to the middle of nowhere, Iowa, and then suddenly realize, hey, you know what I need? Hey, you know what that is? That's for divorced dads. That's what that's for. I just figured it out. Like I need to get little Timmy something. I totally forgot his birthday was ah, two shit. Tuesdays ago. Fuck. Uh, uh, Harley Davidson. He likes Harley Davidson. Like, Daddy, I never had Harley Davidson. Shut up, Timmy. It's Billy. Shut up, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Th- that's why truckers are terrible people. <laughs> well, you know, we need them. They're that's true. definitely needed. In fairness, I will rather take a interstate journey with nothing but truckers on the road than any possible combination of, like, passenger cars. Because truckers, by and large, obey the keep right, unless you're passing. So nice. Yes. That was the nice thing. So on my little journey to and from Chicago for God knows, you know, stupid reasons, I went through Lake Effect Snow in Ohio and Indiana, right? There was semi-tractor trailers and, like, all this stuff, and they're going through. As soon as it got to the Lake Effect shit, there was almost no tractor trailers on the road. And there was huge pileups because it was just stupid people on the road. Because <laughs> they know better. Yes. I was I'm like, not going to uh, sacrifice my life. Like, oh, there's a semi on the side of the road, semi on the side of the road. I'm like, why are all these semis pulled off to the side of the road? Because there's morons on the road. Yeah. And then I, oh, they're probably see being back like, hey, asshole, don't yeah, like, get over. It's, it's There's nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, they shut down the interstate. <laughs> so I had to be in Chicago at 8 o'clock. I couldn't fly. Because the thing I had to do was at 8 o'clock, and the first flight, or the last flight out of O'Hare is at 9 o'clock. So you have to be at O'Hare an hour ahead of time. That's You have to be at O'Hare an hour ahead of time. Why don't you take Midway? Because Midway, it's like last flight was at like 8.20-ish back to Chicago, and the cheap-ass airline I fly doesn't fly into Midway anyway, so... Because Midway sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I hate Midway. Midway, if you haven't been, consider yourself lucky. Um, and never go there. Imagine being trapped in a cardboard box and being yelled at by a heavyset woman of color. That's Midway. <laughs> that That's calls you sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Like, sweetheart, you can't take that through security. Like, oh, but I just want to go through security. No, you got to go back. Like, Okay. That's that's Midway. Okay, pretty yeah. much. In a, in a small cardboard box. That's what Midway feels like. Because yeah, Midway was like two minutes from my parents' house, and O'Hare was like 35 minutes from my parents' house. It's like, we're, we're going to take O'Hare. <laughs> <laughs> Always and forever. So I lost my train of thought as to why I had So to. Okay, so, yeah. Have you ever been to, speaking of uh, rest areas, have yeah. you ever been to south of the border? No. I've always meant to go. Yeah, my fiance and I usually, you know, uh, uh, my fiance and I usually, 
uh, stop there on the way back from our trip um, yeah, to the Carolinas. Yeah. And it is like, have you ever driven? You've driven past it, right? I've driven past like it. Down I've seen, the seen all the sombrero. fucking signs. Yeah. Like, yeah. Pedro wants you to stop. Like, yeah. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with that place? I could see that that place was like big back in the day, but it's ghetto as shit. <laughs> it's in. It's like supposed to be like a, I don't know, like an amusement park slash like arcade. Like, uh, you know what it seems like to me? L- let me guess as to how south of the border was having never gone there okay? i think it was good back in the day yes so i'm imagining nothing's new like from the all the signs i saw like there's probably like it like whatever the animated like people characters <gasps> like, like fucking five Hola. nights at freddy shit like, <laughs> like just like squeaking like okay they, wait, wait, they the- fucking seriously have those Probably. Oh I don't God. know for sure, but it's creepy. Have, so have you gone in? Have you seen it? I have not seen it, but we, her and I always stop at the rest area there, and it's in south of the border. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's really sketchy. Yeah. It's like, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. If it's it also is. so fucking weird that they decided to theme a place Mexican simply because. And to call it south of the border, even though it's like in the most middle of the country that you can possibly be on 95. Yeah, it's like, well, it's technically in South Carolina, so it is south of the North Carolina border. Aren't we clever? Yeah, but you could do the same thing in North Carolina for Virginia, and it would be the same fucking joke. <laughs> and they have, yeah, I've seen it because when I drove to Florida and back a couple times, it is every fucking billboard is a south of the border billboard. Yeah. Well, if you ever go back, just stop there. You will never want to go back. Well, uh, you know <laughs> For the last three years, we've stopped there every time we've come back. So, but I don't, it's, it's like, I, just use the quick bathroom, stay. fill, you know, fill the gas tank. And I'm not staying there. The hotel there looks like, it, uh, like, it looks like a Norman Bates shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll probably get murdered and, you know, they'll be seeing a lot there, of there's definitely, there's definitely bed bugs. There's, Do you know what they get? They, you know what they did? They got perfect. The rundown atmosphere of Mexico. That's what I they think did. that's what they, they're going for there. They're like, oh, it's a piece of shit, just like oh, Mexico. Oh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, haha, you come. You come and I give you gifts. Why are you Asian? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's all? Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ese. <laughs> oh, ese. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Every time I've stopped there, there's been Asian people there. <laughs> I, I, I and they probably... I, I, can imagine that they probably bought a I love the south of the border t-shirt. Yes. I have occasionally seen south of the border bumper stickers on cars around here too. Like people are proud of the fact they've been there. Isn't there like mascot like a kicking jackass? It's like a kicking jackass and like a little like sombrero how is wearing this place, Spanish dude. How is this place allowed to stay alive in like our modern PC culture too? Oh, you can't call it the Redskins because that's racist. Have you been to... Sa- <laughs> <laughs> That's all he needs to say. He just needs to say, have you seen South of the Border? Until and that place is still around. That goes, I'm calling it the Redskins. It's like, and and it's like, I don't get it because it's supposed to be an amusement park or something. I but, guess. But there's I only do, like a Ferris wheel. I do know someone who stayed there. Stayed there at stayed the hotel. There there. at the thing. He said it was... Awful and amazing all at the same time. Because he's like, everything you ever thought about it is true, except for it's worse, which makes it better to him. <laughs> I don't know. He, he's a weird fucker, though. So it was like, eh, like, no. <laughs> like, just, no. Like, I'm not staying there. He's been, like, divorced twice. And he's, well, there, yeah, he was yeah. with his third now wife. So at his bumper sticker, his license plate was her half because he took the money before he divorced the second one and bought a Jeep with it. So his license plate for a long time was Oh, he sounds half. like a quality individual. Oh, he was. Yeah, he entertaining. Very entertaining. Good to have a drink with. Get some great stories out of him. <laughs> but he's the sort of person who stays at South of the Board. As an everything... Okay, so every divorced dad, every deadbeat dad on the face of the planet who is an American either lives in Alaska 
or more likely Florida, right? Probably, yeah. No, it's not probably. It is, <laughs> yes. Every deadbeat dad in America lives in either Florida, which is the most likely, or Alaska, which is less likely. He's in Alaska if he's evading defense. That's just how it is. That's a fact. Just Look in the it middle up. of fucking nowhere? Yes. Like, if you walk into a bar in, like, a AT or, like, just any federal marshal thing, it's just going to clear out. Right? I guarantee in Alaska you go in there, you'll be the only guy in there. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so that's where all the deadbeat dads who owe a lot of child support go. So in Florida, if you're a deadbeat dad, and the majority of the population in the United States lives on the East Coast, you're going to meet your poor kid probably like, well, don't we just meet at south of the border. Man, that'll be fine. That's like an amusement park, right? I guarantee uh, that's yeah. how it stays in business. I could see that. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I could see that. Well, she's in New York. and, <sighs> uh, and uh, Why don't you just ship? drive him to south of the border and I'll just see him there. And we'll hang out for the weekend. Like, you always do this. Well, it's fun. He loves it. It's like, an amusement park. He loves it. There's yeah. mascots. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with Friday Night, Five Nights at Freddy's? Isn't that that like video game where like the creepy stuff, the creepy dolls come to life and yeah, the animatronics come to life and kill the people or the scary yeah, guy? Yeah, it's kind of freaky actually. I played it. Yeah, I've. I it's had actually even, freaky as hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a big enough loser where I don't even play the game. I watch people play the game. Yeah, it's but. <laughs> No one wants to play with me. But anyway, that's what I imagine fi- or uh, south of the border is like. <laughs> like you'll just hear like, Hello, amigo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you'll just hear like, Welcome to the south of the border. Like, <laughs> Dad, Dad, wake up. <laughs> Whiskey. Like, no, Dad, I hear something outside. <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> 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 What happened to Timmy? You mean Billy? Like, oh, well, fuck that kid. <laughs> He's a pain in my ass anyway. I have to pay the <laughs> Where the fuck are we? <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> That's good. I was like, well, uh, it's clever. <laughs> no, so I gave it to my point. They shut down an interstate on me driving back to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> what was the point we were talking about? Well, I was talking about going to Chicago. I couldn't take a flight, and as to why I couldn't take a flight. How much alcohol is in this? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I, it's kind of messing my world up a little it bit. It is, yeah. It is, well, it's right there. I don't, I don't want to say because it might be too low for the listeners. Like, oh, these guys are pussies. It's more than a normal beer, that's for sure. It's more than a Bud Light. Yep. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. So when you have a kid. <laughs> You don't drink a lot of alcohol because the missus can't drink a lot of alcohol. So, so you, you have, have to drive her somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. So you don't really drink for the month beforehand because you don't want to, like, holy crap, the kid's coming and I'm half in the bag. And, and you don't I really drink. drive to the hospital. Exactly. Right. Not you're going to have to drive yourself. Yeah. Is it bad I really wanted a beer in the delivery room, though? I was like, I just really want a beer. Like, that's all I want right now. It was probably like, because labor is a really fucking long time. It was just like, it's like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. All I want is a beer. Actually, yeah. I, I the wife is passed too. out. I just want to get hammered in the waiting room. And oh, no, no, you're modern day birth. You are going in, buddy. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm not saying, no, no, no. I'm saying like, in, in the while she's asleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, deli- that's what I mean, delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, I just want to get hammered. Yeah. I don't see why not. She's fucked up on all she's sorts of pretty drugs. Much, she's pretty much hammered. Oh, yeah. It, the nurses might fight because they come in awful lot. So Pour you some to. alcohol in that IV drip and just put it in my arm. Yeah. I don't see why not. <laughs> so if I ever become, or if you are a person in charge of a hospital, that will be my like mandate of like, listen, we will have a cooler for daddy to be. Full of beer. Full of beer for him to have while he's helping. That's yeah. That sounds good. I don't see why not. Because you're not doing you're anything gonna, technical. You're gonna sober up in yeah. the time that you know. Maybe. No, that'd be true. <laughs> I mean, we had like 16 hours of active labor, kind of technically more, but like weird shit. 
but like some people are really f- i know a girl who was in her mom was in labor with her for five seconds so like it was they were taking her out on her the car mom was in la- oh. labor with her for like five seconds they were putting her from the bed to bring her into the delivery room and she had the kid and she had the kid I was like, and here we go, and we're bringing you out to the hallway, and the kid is here. Okay, so now we're just going to go to the arrival room. So, <laughs> okay. Well, that I guess I'm hammered. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Luckily, I drank on the ride over here. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> it's <fucking> Billy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good, though. It was a very yeah, good beer. Good. Well, that's a good way to end the episode. It got very, it got a lot better as we went along with this. Uh, it did. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm thoroughly feeling it right now, as they say. So uh, good check on. us out at uh, Untitled Car Show. Yep, on Untitled Car Show at Gmail dot com. Uh, Untitled Car Show, all one word on Twitter. You can follow us on, or you can subscribe to us on iTunes for free. Please for free, like. Or you, there's no like I'm thinking YouTube Review Please leave a review Five stars is our favorite number We will read it on air If you review it five stars It's been a while since I checked that I probably have to get on top of that <laughs> If you've left a review I'm sorry if I haven't read it um, It's been a stressful fucking eight weeks Yeah Since we've like Things are calming down We're gonna try and get a schedule out To put out an episodes At least once a week Coming up so we have some other stuff we've been working on as part of our eight-week sabbatical here. So you're going to be expecting a lot more from the Untitled Car Show crew. Yes, yes. very much. Mm-hmm. And everyone uh, have a good evening. Take care. Good night. I love you. Good day. Goodbye. Whatever time like it that. is. I like that phrase. Good day. Good night. Good day. Goodbye. And good day, good night, saying, goodbye. Whatever you were saying. What? What were we saying? I was going to say I love them. Uh, I thought you were saying wherever you, wherever you are. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, I hope you had fun with us. Thank you so much. Yeah. I think I think this is like a side effect of me reading like so many of those like fucking like lullaby books and that sort of thing. It's just like, oh, like everything's like. And happily <laughs> ever after. Well, everything's sing songy now. Everything's like. Da, 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 like twinkle twinkle widow star like that's the sort of stuff you say now because you're sensitive to the child's ears yes like we have been well, the entire episode well i don't talk to the kid <laughs> like it's a baby because baby talk makes no sense to me <laughs> oh look at the wheel baby boo, 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 boo. then the baby's first words be like boo, 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 boo. and you're not gonna know what the fuck she's saying because it doesn't mean anything <laughs> Or she'll grow up and she'll be like, oh, how's it going? This is how my daddy and mommy told me to talk. Like, no one wants to be associated with that person. I yes. know people who have that And then they voice. wonder why you're a drunk. <laughs> hey, fuck, get me over here. Give me a beer. Dad, give me a beer. We're give going me. south with some water. <laughs> <laughs> have some fun. All right. All right. Good night, everyone. Have Goodbye. fun. Good day, good night, goodbye. <laughs>